Yesterday's top stories, Morocco informs the Security Council of the latest developments in El Gergaret. Morocco can turn COVID-19 pandemic into a historic opportunity for economic takeoff, according to Interior Minister. And 25% of women victims of domestic violence suffer psychologically, according to the HCP. Good afternoon. Permanent representative of Morocco to the UN Ambassador Omar Hilal informed the members of the Security Council of the latest developments in the region of El Gargaret in the Moroccan Sahara, in particular the commendable and successful intervention carried out by the Royal Armed Forces at this border crossing. This operation allowed to put an end to the blockade caused by the militias of the Polisario and to restore civil and commercial movement at the level of this road access connecting Morocco and Mauritania, said Hilal in two letters addressed to the executive body of the United Nations since November 13th and which will be published and recorded as official documents of the Security Council. Hilal underlined in these letters that the action carried out by the FAR aimed at putting a definitive end to the inadmissible violations by the Polisario of the ceasefire of the military agreements and of the resolutions of the Council of Security in El Gargaret took place in a peaceful manner without any threat or harm to the life and security of civilians, adding that this action took place in the presence of Minorso, which fully observed it. No casualties were recorded during this non-offensive action and without any belligerent intention, insisted Hidal. He added that the legitimate action carried out by Morocco was unanimously and greatly welcomed by the Moroccan people in all its components, in particular the populations of the Moroccan Sahara. It also received strong active support from the international community. The coordinator of the steering committee of the International Platform for the Defense and the Support of the Moroccan Sahara, Mohamed Ahmed Gain, has urged the United Nations and the Office of the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights to strongly condemn the destabilizing actions carried out by the separatist group of Polisario supported by Algeria to undermine peace, tranquility and development in the Moroccan Sahara region. In a letter sent to the Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres, and to the High Commissioner for Human Rights in Geneva, Michel Bachelet, Gay stresses that the Polisario has blocked the Moroccan border post of El Gargaret by a group of civilians framed by heavily armed elements of the Polisario. This is a clear violation of Security Council resolutions which urge the Polisario to refrain from any destabilizing action to the east and south of the Moroccan defense system and to the ceasefire in force since 1991. He stressed that the blocking of El Gargaret's border posed a strategic transit point for the entire West African region, illustrates the danger posed by the destabilizing actions of the Polisario on global peace and security. Morocco has recorded 4,979 new cases of the novel coronavirus till yesterday at 6 p.m., while 5,220 COVID-19 patients have recovered in the same period. A total of 70 coronavirus-related deaths were also registered. The new COVID-19 cases were recorded in the regions of Casablanca Stat 1,889, Rabat Salikinitra 818, Susmasa 521, Tanjit Etwan Husayma 456, Marrakesh Safi 355, The Oriental 312, Gilimim Wadnoun 143, Benim Khanifa 124, Layun Sakhi Al Hamra 97, Fas Meknas 93, Dakhla Wad Dahab 90, and Dara Tafilalt 81. The number of active cases has reached 46,471 including 1,023 patients in a critical or severe condition. 
Morocco is in a position to turn the COVID-19 pandemic into a historic opportunity to promote the country's economic takeoff and strengthen social cohesion despite the challenges and constraints related to the resilience of the virus and the duration of its spread, according to Interior Minister Abdel Wafi Liftit. Presenting his department's draft budget for the 2021 fiscal year before the Committee of the Interior, Territorial Collectivities and Infrastructure at the House of Advisors Liftit and aligned that the overall mobilization of central and territorial services to stop the spread of the pandemic did not hinder the continued efforts to ensure the success of the various projects planned. The 18th National Awareness Campaign for the Elimination of Violence Against Women is underway and the initiative of the Minister of Solidarity, Social Development, Equality and the Family organized this year under the theme Stopping women victims of uh, supporting women victims of violence. This campaign aimed to publicize the institutional services provided to women and girls victims of violence while promoting the efforts of the various stakeholders in supporting women victims of violence. The choice of the theme of support for women victims of violence highlights the importance given to this issue and the desire to mobilize all national and territorial stakeholders in the promotion, protection of women's rights and elimination of violence against, women, against them. The event will run until December 10th. Yesterday marks the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women. It also marks the start of 16 days of activism against gender-based violence, an annual international campaign which runs until the International Human Rights Day. Shame at we. As countries implemented lockdown measures to stop the spread of the coronavirus, violence against women, especially domestic violence, intensified. In some countries, calls to helplines have increased fivefold. That's when celebrating the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women comes in handy, as it is a day dedicated to raise awareness of the fact that women around the world are subject to rape, domestic violence, and other forms of violence.